I am going to read The Undefeated. It's a lovely book. It is a ode and a love letter to America, celebrating all the wonderful contributions of African Americans in this country. So this is The Undefeated, written by Kwame Alexander, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and the sweet ones, who hurdled history and opened the world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. And for the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the unsophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision. who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop until the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carry the red, the white and the weary blues on to the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous marching ones who sang, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers the, and the doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Althea Gibsons, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans, and the LeBrons, the Serenas, and the Cheryls, the Reese Whitleys, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable ones, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as the night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken, but no longer 
untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. Beautiful, isn't it? This is the undefeated. Beautiful love letter to America. And what I'd like to point out for those educators or parents that are watching, um, there's a afterward written by the author, Kwame Alexander. And he talks about how he wrote this poem and how it came to um, to become um, the book that it is today. There's also, also a reference to the historical figures and events featured in The Undefeated. So if you didn't recognize some of the people that were in the book, there are plenty of notes at the back of the book that provide little information about the, the actual people that you saw featured in the book and a little synopsis about the wonderful contributions that they have made, not just to the African-American community, but to the world. So this is a wonderful book that is to be shared and enjoyed by, um, by all. You can download a free audio version of this poem if you visit hmhbooks.com forward slash free downloads and the access code is the undefeated or undefeated also too if you're interested in um oh, oh, if you're under if you're interested in um actually reading this book on uh through ebook access you can go to the dc public library website and you can also um access to check out this ebook there as well. So this is The Undefeated, written by um, Kwame Alexander and illustrated by uh, Kadir Nelson. I hope you enjoyed this selection uh, that I provided for you tonight. Um, if you're interested in me uh, reading any particular books, just send me an email to jareadersLMC at gmail.com. I probably have the book in my collection here in my home. As you can see, I like to keep a lot of books around me and behind me too, you know, and um, I can uh, read that book aloud as well. So until next time, thank you for stopping by and have a good night. Bye-bye now. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to log on to clever.com forward slash IN forward slash DCPS. K12. Once you log on to the Clever portal, you're going to go over to the left hand panel, scroll down to Library and Resources, and then you're going to move over to the DC Public Library. Now you're probably wondering now, how can I uh, check out a book if I don't have a library card? This is a real simple process. Watch this. On the top toolbar, you're going to click on services and then scroll down to get a library card. Once you uh, get on the get on get a library card page, uh, you're going to scroll down to where it says, how do I get a library card? And then there is a hyperlink here that says apply online. Now, the really nice thing about this is that you can enter in your personal information, first, last name, street, city, state, of course, DC, but also your personal information, including your date of birth, your email address. This is very important. You must have an active email in order to do this. And um, some additional information like your phone number, as well as the preferred library that's closest to your home. Once you do all that, you click on request library card and within minutes you will receive a temporary library card number and pin in your email account. Just that simple. 
So once you get your library card number and pen, you're ready to go. At the, on the top toolbar, you can you choose two options. You can look at teens or kids. Now, kids uh, ranges from kindergarten all the way through sixth grade, and teens will range from seventh through high school or 12th grade. So what I recommend that you do is scroll down under teens. Let's look at that tab first. Uh, scroll down under teens and look at ebooks and audiobooks in, audio, in uh, Overdrive. Once you click on that link, there are numerous options that are going to pop up. What I would suggest that you do is you start at the top where you see collections. Click on collections and then go over to ebooks. I would select see all if I were you and just do a general broad search. And you can see what's new in audiobooks and ebooks. You can uh, see what's also available like right now at this given moment. Um, popular titles that are in the system that you could take a look at and also some recommended titles. You will also notice that, let's look at this one by Elizabeth Acevedo, that this book is listed as a wait list. That means that this book is checked out already. But if you really like this book, the only thing you have to do is click on place a hold. And once you click on place a hold, and because I've already signed in using my library card number, what will happen is that an email is going to be sent to my email account and it'll let me know when this title is available. Now this is only after I've entered in my library card number. What this system will also do is it will prompt you into looking at other books that are kind of similar to the title that you were trying to check out, but it's actually um, on uh, it's actually uh, checked out by another person. So here's a couple of titles here that they're recommending that are very similar in nature. You can also click on show more like this and you can see even more books that are available to you. Like check this one out. This is a pretty good one. I've read that one already by Nick Stone. Okay, so um, going back to the main collection, let's say we wanted to look at the kids section. This is for our kindergarten through sixth grade reading levels. And you would click on collections again, and I would look at ebooks in indicating see all. And here are all the collections for the younger students. If you wanted to drill down and look for some things that are more specific, then you can uh, click on the search button. And since we read a book by Kwame Alexander, we can type in his name. And as you notice, um, as I'm typing in his name, his name is beginning to populate for us. We click on Kwame Alexander. Here are all the books that are within the, the, the kids catalog that are actually uh, populating in my search. And if you're That's all for now. If you need any assistance, please reach out at jareadersLMC at gmail.com. Take care. Bye-bye.